Yo, what's up, guys? Just want to say thank you to my 50 subscribers. Shout out to you guys. We are on the road to 1,000, 5,000. Because I believe in you lot, man. I'm trying to stay consistent. Let's give you guys something to watch, something to subscribe to. Be here for my giveaways. I'm going to be giving away the next shoe that I grab will definitely be the shoe that I give away. So be keep your eyes peeled for that because if I can get to 100 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway. Um, no matter where you are in the world, um, you will be able to get a prize. I will give you the shoes if I can post them to you or I will end up giving you like maybe a cash giveaway. So guys, please don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. It benefits you lot. Trust me. Boy, courts to the courts kicks. Trains anonymous. Just courts. You know how it went. You know where it started. You guys have been here since the beginning. So I want to give back to you guys. Thank you very much. It's your boy Courts. Let's go. Home with the video. Yo, 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 my people. It is your boy Courts Kicks. C to the K to the coming at you with another episode of This Is Unboxing. Boy has been blessing you guys on this fabulous Air Max day. Okay, everybody. This is not a test. Shout out to my Air Max heads. Hope you was able to pick up. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Nike, this past sneakers day. WTF, bro. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Normally you would release like other Air Max models from just obviously the archives, but you just decided to almost not release anything. And then randomly your shock dropped these bad boys and your boy was ready. Let's look at the box. As I'm sure you know, there's four bubbles right here. It's got a big tick. Four bubbles right here. And it's almost got like a, like a wear and tear kind of effect look to the box. Or is it painted over? Because this is the normal iconic red and white branding box. But I've just removed the the writing on the bubble of the tick and there's no writing here on the sides. Hey, I'm here for it. Always good to go with a new box, even though you don't wear the box. Still something that's appreciated. You know, presentation's a big thing. Let's go. Oh, complimentary colours I see already. These are the Air Max Day release shock drop. The Royal Blue Neons. As you can see, it's got the neon midsole all around the shoe. But it's the iconic Air Max 1 in the Royal Blue colourway. Got a date on the tongue. 326 March 26. Let's throw these on the turntable. Look into a few more details because these are quite cool. I've never had an Air Max one with one of these hang tags before, so this is definitely like a nostalgic old school vibe, I guess. Like, because I guess only the originals kind of came with this, so that's quite cool. But, um, yeah, let's throw them on the turntable. Have a little review. As you can see, guys, you've got the vault midsole just here. With the Royal Upper, which is just an iconic colorway, similar to the ones they released last year, which were the red ones, the Varsity red ones, and so now they've come up with the Royal Blue ones as well. Gray mesh ching here around the outsole of the shoe for the upper, blue for the mud guard, all around the heel, just here, and white laces, neon tips. But we cannot ignore, we cannot deny, we cannot acknowledge. Got four bubbles there. Because this is Nike's bigger bubble on the Air Max 1. These are the Air Max 86s. These are the original, original, original. Before they end up having issues with... Their original design, which was originally in four bubbles, they had to end up reducing it to three because the air unit kept exploding or the shoe sole would collapse on them. So they had to end up redesigning the technology. Not much you can really say about this. 
as I said to you guys before, you've got the 326. Going into details regards to what that means. You've got the detail for the insole just here. If you take this one out, give me a second. You can then see the detail, which is normally the Nike Air Max, or just uh, quite a lot of Air Max's soles. So you can see the details just there. So it, Nike has done a few things for us here, which makes this shoe just a little bit more special. But I can't wait to slap these on foot, on feet. So let's get these on feet and give you an on foot look so you can see how these look on foot. To buy courts kicks, let's get it. Guys, hope you enjoyed the little catwalk with you there. These are definitely a sick looking shoe. Like the pop of color just gives it that another dynamic where like you can just do more things with it. You haven't got to literally conform to what the maybe the normal rolls would have you do. These are definitely comfortable. I've gone for like the standard size that I would usually go for in an Air Max One, and they are a bit snug. But I guess over time with me wearing them, they will definitely come out. I would give these shoes a 7 out of 10 as far as even 7 might be a bit of a stretch because as I said, I'm not that massive of an Max fan. So I might literally go for like maybe like a 6. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just a case of like what I usually wear compared to what I have. And then these are not necessarily like at the top of my, at the top of my list. Um, these definitely wouldn't unfortunately make my top five at the end of the year but that's just me being honest with you guys these are definitely still a sick shoe definitely something i would still rock however i've got a few shoes already that i've got earlier in the year that i would definitely put forward for my top five at the end of the year so guys without further ado shout out to nike air max day was a flop you guys definitely need to do better and if when it comes to sneakers day in august you guys flop again I have no idea as to how you're managing to keep the customer base that you're keeping if on the sneakers app and other things because I'm hearing a lot of people getting annoyed with regards to the fact that like we don't win raffles to add insult to injury when it does come to the like the special days where you're meant to be releasing like a lot of things you guys are just like pulling back and not releasing stuff anymore it's been your boy Courts Kicks this has been my review these are the Air Max Day shock drop releases of the air max one with the 326 on the tongue it's been your boy court sitter and this is unboxing peace